Hi boys and girls, it's a new month and the Lord has given us another beautiful opportunity to learn about the promises that he's given us and how he keeps them. And today's lesson, we get to enjoy some bread. I can't wait for teacher to share this bread with us. Let's say a prayer. Mighty and everlasting Father, we are so grateful for your love, grateful for your protection, and grateful that you're a God who keeps his promises. Thank you, Lord, even that we've been well throughout the month of January and February, and even as we begin this new month, Lord, we surrender to you and are so excited to see what you will do for us. We give you glory, we give you honor, for it's in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. So let's stand up and sing for Jesus. Enjoy the service, boys and girls. boys and girls wow it's so good to have you back i hope you enjoyed the dance did you dance with mommy and daddy that was really nice yeah thank you so much for joining us once again so that we can now go to today's lesson today we are going to study the word of god where do we find the word of god we find it where i know you know by now we find it in the bible let me see your bibles everyone show me your bible you have a bible Yes? So we say the Bible is the word of God, and yet it is a book. Can you imagine a book? And it is the word of God. And it is an interesting book because it has many other books inside it. Did you know that your Bible has other books inside? So there are many small books inside the Bible. And these books have different names. The same way you have a different name from your brother or from your sister, the books in the Bible have different names. And I want to see how well you know the books from the Bible. So we are going to play a game called Bible, Bible, Bible. It's called, say after me, Bible, Bible, Bible. Very good. I, and you can play it with your brothers and sisters, even mommy and daddy, so that we can see how well you know the books of the Bible. So I will say a word. And then you will say, if it's a book of the Bible, you say Bible. If it's not a book of the Bible, you say not Bible. Okay, you're ready? So, Bible, Bible, Bible. Bible, Bible, Bible. Bible, Bible, Bible. Moses. What did you say? Somebody said Bible. Is Moses a book of the Bible? No, it isn't. Let's try that again. Bible, Bible, Bible. Matthew. Yes, Bible. Mark. Yes, Bible. John. Bible. Uh huh. ICC. Who said Bible? ICC is no 
not a book of the Bible. ICC is church, but it is not a book of the Bible. Let's try one more time. Bible, Bible, Bible. You say Bible. Bible, Bible, Bible. Yes, Isaiah. Bible, that's true. Esther. Bible, that is true. Noah. Aha, I got you. Somebody said Bible. Noah is not a book of the Bible. He's a person in a story in the Bible, but it is not a book of the Bible. So I want to ask you boys and girls to really open your Bibles in the course of the week and just try and get at least five book names, five names, five names from the Bible. And then we can challenge one another to learn all the books of the Bible. And the Bible is a good book to read, isn't it? Don't we sing that the best book to read is a Bible? The best book to read is a Bible. The best book to read is a Bible. If you read it every day, you'll be happy on your way. Oh, the best book to read is a Bible. So read your Bibles and learn the books of the Bible. Very good. So keep your Bible near get your pen get your paper get everybody to settle down so that we can begin today's lesson before we begin today's lesson what was last week's lesson about uh-huh try to remember please tell your mommy or daddy or your brother and sister what was that lesson about yes do you remember I am going to remind you, and also in case one of you did not listen to last week's lesson. Last week's lesson was about God's promise. We had learned that God sent a lot of water to cover the entire earth, and everything and everybody was destroyed except for Noah and his family. So when all the water God finished and God removed Noah and his family from the ark, God promised Noah that he will never ever send water again to cover the earth and destroy people. And he gave Noah and even us today a sign of that promise. What was the sign of that promise? It is shaped like this, shaped like this. And it has many colors. It has red, yellow, orange, green, blue, there, you got it. Yes, the rainbow. So God promised never again. He will never again and send water to destroy the earth. And that was a very wonderful thing we learned in the month of February. But now we are in the month of March. Yay! This is the first Sunday in March. And we are beginning a new series about Easter. Do you know we are almost celebrating Easter? Do you love Easter? It is almost as nice as Christmas, maybe even better. So we are going to start a series where we will see what happened during, so that we are able to celebrate Easter. So boys and girls, do you all celebrate your birthdays? Or perhaps you have gone to celebrate somebody else's birthday? And what do you do during the birthdays? I'm sure you send cards to your friends or they send you cards and people give the birthday girl or the birthday boy some gifts and mommy and daddy prepare a lot of good food. What do you eat during your birthday other than the cake? I know some of you love pizza uh -huh, and ice cream and lots of cakes and biscuits and sweets so that you can celebrate your birthday. Why do you celebrate your birthday? Because it is special, but it is special because of you. The person whose birthday is being celebrated is really special. We celebrate birthdays to remember them because they are really special to us. So today's lesson, we are going to see how we remember Jesus Christ. And our story goes back to the book of Matthew, the Bible book of Matthew, chapter 26. Please write it down so that you can read it later with mommy and daddy. The book of Matthew, chapter 26, from verse 17 all the way to verse 30. And it is on your screen. Matthew 26, 17 to 30. Make sure you read it with mommy and daddy. So I'm going to tell you what this story was all about. So you remember Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior? He was a man like you and me. And him and his disciples were celebrating a special feast. A wonderful, wonderful feast, for, a wonderful feast at that time. And the feast was called 
Passover. It was called Passover. Passover was the day they remembered how God had removed the Israelites from Egypt and taken them to the promised land. It's the same way we celebrate Christmas to remember how God sent Jesus Christ to be born as our Savior, or we celebrate Easter when we remember how Jesus died on the cross and rose again. So Jesus and his disciples were celebrating a Passover feast and they needed to prepare. Don't you see mommy and daddy preparing when you have a birthday party? I'm sure they probably even bring in some extra aunties to come and help prepare the food. So Jesus told his disciples, can you go and find a room? Find a nice room with a nice table and then get the food that we are going to eat. Now, on the Passover, they did not eat pizza. They did not eat chips or chicken. Do you know what they used to eat? During that feast, they would eat bread, bread like this. They would eat bread and they would drink wine, which was a special drink made from grapes. And so his disciples went and prepared the beautiful place. And then during the evening, they came and sat at the table with Jesus on one end and the disciples on the other end. And so as they were sitting there, Jesus told them something very interesting. Jesus told them, you know what? One of you here is going to betray me. Now, what does it mean to betray? Some of you know. What does it mean to betray? Uh-huh. Yes, to tell on someone. And especially when you're not doing, telling the truth. Telling on someone to his enemies, that is betrayal. And it's especially bad when it is a friend who tells on you. If somebody who is your enemy tells on you, you do not feel very bad. But imagine when your close friend goes to tell on you. That is called betrayal. And Jesus told them, one of the 12 here will betray me. And all of them started asking, is it me? Is it me? Surely Jesus, not me, not me. And Jesus told them, one of you will betray me. And that person is Judas. Who was Judas? Judas was one of the 12 disciples. Imagine Jesus' close friend was going to betray him. Now, what do you think Jesus felt? Did he feel bad? Did he feel sad or angry? He did. What do you do when people betray you or tell on you? Uh-huh, you stop talking to them. Uh-huh, what else do you do? Even you, you go and tell on them. Oh, uh-huh, what else do you do to those people who tell on you? What? No, 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 we don't beat them. I hope you don't beat them. Okay, we are going to learn from Jesus what he did. Jesus did not chase Judas away. Imagine Jesus told Judas, I know you will betray me, but he still ate with him at the table. They still sat together and ate. Because this was a special meal. It was special. Not because of what they were eating, the bread or the wine, but because of what Jesus wanted them to remember when they eat the bread and wine. So Jesus told his disciples, I want you, when you eat the bread and when you drink the wine, I want you to remember me. Jesus was going to be crucified and we will study that in the next three and four lessons. So please don't miss, don't miss out on the next three Sundays. We will see how Jesus went and was crucified and died. And when Jesus was dead, Jesus wanted them not to forget about him. And so he told them, I want you, when I am away, when you eat this bread, think about me. Think about what I have done for you. Remember everything I have taught you and obey me. And he told them, think of this bread as my body and think of this wine as my blood that will be shed for your sins. You know, Jesus died on the cross. His body was destroyed the same way the bread is broken. Jesus' body was broken. It was beaten and he even died. And Jesus' blood was shed. He bled and died because of you and me. And Jesus wanted his disciples to remember him through that. So 
the same way we remember our, how God created us and how we are a gift to each other on our birthdays, then Jesus wanted them to remember him. So boys and girls, who knows what we call this? When you see mommy and daddy in church eating bread and wine, what do we call it? It is called Holy Communion when we come and eat together. And when you are older, I'm sure you're going to learn how you're going to participate in Holy Communion. But every time we do that, we remember Jesus Christ and what he did for us. So how will you remember Jesus Christ? Other than eating bread and wine, how else do we remember Jesus Christ? We remember Jesus Christ by reading the Bible. So we remember, oh, this is what God wanted me to learn and to do. We remember Jesus Christ when we pray. We remember Lord Jesus Christ when we talk to other people about him. We remember him when we come to church and even joining the online services. And there are so many things we can do to make sure we will never ever forget about Jesus Christ and what he has done for us. So boys and girls, this is our lesson today. Number one, that Jesus Christ was betrayed by his closest friend, Judas. But Jesus did not repay him badly. He did not tell on him, he did not chase him out of the room, but he continued to love him and even died for him. And then Jesus told his disciples not to forget about him. And so even you should not forget about Jesus. Do not forget about Jesus. Okay, never forget about Jesus. I want to ask you two questions from this week's lesson. The first question, I want you to tell me, what was the name of the man who betrayed Jesus? Uh -huh. Who betrayed Jesus? Ah, uh, you got it right, all of you. Yes, Judas. Judas was the disciple who betrayed Jesus. My second question, and this one you need to remember, what was the feast that Jesus and his disciples were celebrating during the Last Supper? What were they celebrating? Yes? the passover yes and it is on your screen it was called the passover so if then they were celebrating the passover we can also celebrate easter and we can celebrate christmas and remember who jesus is and what he did for all of us okay boys and girls my name is Cheryl, the brother of life The brother life. So boys and girls, it's time for us to give money for Jesus. Yes, I know you don't have money, but your mummies and daddies have money. So ask them to give using the pay bill number that is on your screen. Ask them to give money through their phones and we are going to give money for Jesus and then we pray. Okay? Thank you. I hope you've been able to give money for Jesus. So before we pray, I want to remind you boys and girls that we have so, so many crafts and activities on the church website. Please tell mommy and daddy to go to the church website and get those crafts and activities for you so that you can even learn more about this lesson. And please share them with your friends, with your brothers and sisters, even your classmates and neighbors so that they can also enjoy and study the word of God together. Okay, boys and girls, I want to wish you a wonderful week ahead. Thank you so much for joining us. Have a good week in school. Some of you may have started end of term exams. I wish you all the best in your exams. Don't be afraid. Trust God. He is with you and he will help you. So let us say the words of the grace together. And now, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Bye-bye, boys and girls. Have a wonderful week ahead.